advice. The opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. It's another fascinating Friday morning. Good morning, good morning, everyone. We hope you are doing okay. You are on Creative Business, and yes, you are watching the Business Portal, your gateway to business trends and opportunities. Today, big news and interesting event in this week's business arena. The good and the not in the mood. Peso expected to further strengthen the, in the fourth quarter while imports growth weakened to 1.4% in June. Next, if maintaining your own delivery service is more of a burden to your company rather than um, a benefit, get this. Someone can do the del delivery for you using your own brand. Jin Gonzalez on Quick Delivery is here to share the story behind 212212. Also today, a lifestyle clothing entrepreneur whose passion revolved into men's grooming. From a simple masculine brand called Bobson, the brand has had its own share of trouble and blessings. Victor Tan is sharing some insights in my top 8. Don't take this seriously. Weird ways to communicate your business idea. It takes only one person who will believe in you. And most of the time, that person is you. And finally, an international brand that's well-loved and well-patronized. It was able to maintain a good number of followers worldwide. What's with the body shop that drives their sales? We are keeping an eye on your business. From the Global News Network Studio in the Philippines, here's your business evangelist and host, Boy Yuna. Hello everyone, let's start the show with the good news. The Philippine Peso, your currency and uh, my currency, is expected to grow stronger as Merry Christmas is approaching. Where did this come from? Well, I, I, I didn't make this up. Uh, I'm sure about that. But the project projection came from the study of the Philippine Central Bank. Why are they saying that? Well, uh, I also don't know. But amazing how they actually came up with the kind of conclusion. The Central Bank had to solicit some views from more than 1,200 firms nationwide. And the process is a simple sub subtraction thing. You know what I mean? Who among you believe that PESO will appreciate? who believe that PESO will depreciate. Raise your hand. And then there was a PESO Outlook Index that stood for positive 24.7. But wait, who is really winning in these times of PESO appreciation? A stronger PESO benefits the firms that depend on imported raw materials for their production or purchases imported goods for sale to domestic market. On the other hand, a strong peso adversely affects income of exporters as it makes Philippine-made goods more expensive in dollar terms. Central bank officials also said that while the appreciation of the peso puts exporters at a disadvantage, <clears throat> the overall outlook of the country's business sector is still woo, positive for 2010. Now for the nut in the mood. <laughs> The country's import bill grew for the eighth month in a row, but at a weaker 1.4% year-on-year to US billion dollars. National Office said on Wednesday. Ladies and gentlemen, don't be alarmed. It's okay. It's just that there is a 1.4% difference when officials compare this year's and last year's figures. Here's what happens according to the Philippine Daily Inquirer. Quote, a strong inflow of goods from abroad, which indicates a similar movement in exports, is considered a good sign, especially for the Philippines, which relies heavily on foreign supplies of electronics imports or inputs for its biggest source of export revenues. So, um, yes, I think uh, this is going to get better in the coming months. Such decrease is only a reflection of global economic problem that created the ripple on financial institutions 
that trigger the fall of many business institutions. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the good and the not in the mood this week. Now, for my first guest today. A business is a painful, painful process. Most, if not all entrepreneurs, will agree on that. But once the business is started, what do you do next, really? The answer to that is, fortunately or not, left primarily on the entrepreneur himself. So if you're an entrepreneur, it's on you. Every decision he makes will define his enterprise. But, a big but, what if there's a part of the business that he can just leave to someone who is an expert on doing it. But before I give you the first guest, I'm putting up a photo on your screen. Let's make the picture talk. What comes to mind when you see the photo? Send us your monologue, your thoughts. Just type LL space your name, space your location, space your message, and send to the numbers on your television screen. Those are the numbers. 